I just arrived at the facility here. We're about to do the cold start. Uh, Cameron had instructed me that you wanted to capture him on video when we first started up. So let's just uh, walk in now. We're all ready, Cameron. What's going on, Alan? This is the 79 oh. Turbo. Um, just doing a cold start here before Henry does the inspection so you can uh, get a, get a uh, visual on things. All right, so we're gonna look at the exhaust on the startup. Oh, battery. Battery. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna get that sorted out right now, and then I'll, I'll restart the video again. Okay, so we're gonna try again. Yeah, battery. Right, we're gonna try it again. We have it on the booster, and good. taken the still photos of the exterior really a, a general shots and then uh, with an emphasis on body panel uh, alignment which I'll do the analysis once I'm back at my desk using a grid overlay but uh, from about I'm about uh, seven feet away from this distance here uh, vehicle does present well you know I can see where there's some blemishes uh, mainly because it's obvious to me because I already know where they're at so I know where to look but this is the way it looks so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna dial right on in so Typically start here off uh, the right side uh, with the headlight assembly here. So glass uh, in good shape, ring looks decent. Got the squirters, we've got some chips here, but you can see where there's some bubbling here. So there may be some surface rust there underneath, which I do see on these cars, on the older ones. So just uh, underneath the mustache there. Here uh, there's chips here, chips there, and some more chips. Driving lights, nicely secured, good shape. Rubber looks good. See some more chips right there. All right, headlight. Uh, before we get the paint meter measurements, let's gonna take a quick look at the uh, roof from the backside here. Looking at the windshield, don't see any obvious uh, chips, cracks, or signs of the lamination. I've already got the uh, public uh, VIN there, so I've got that. And then we'll take a quick look at the dash. We're going to look for any cosmetic imperfections. You see that right there. Or any defects in workmanship or in materials. I always like to get a shot of the rear view mirror. I've already uh, checked the windshield wipers. They are in sync. Uh, but I still need to check the operation. Let's start off with some uh, cow readings. 8.5. This meter reads in the thousandths of an inch or in the mills. If we get a specific reading of 19.7, 8.5, if we get a specific reading of 19.7, uh, that's an indication of body filler use. That's seven. Good. Eight, five, and seven, five. I've also ran my hand uh, across the panels. It is smooth to the touch. Right. And the, the paint uh, has a subtle luster as well. Get some fender readings. Eight, seven. Again, just some uh, rock chips here. Bellows look good. All right. 8.5, 10.5, good. I've already inspected the uh, fuel fuller uh, area. Got some photos of that, looks good. All right, let's get a shot of the wheel well. I'd like to capture as many angles as possible. So uh, Cameron was gonna try to have a lift available for us, but the warehouse is, is this buried with cars. We don't have access to it. All right, and then uh, looking at the uh, tires, don't see any sidewall damage. DOT production of uh, manufacturer, 2018. Rims, uh, looks like they could maybe use a, an abrasive cleaner. You can see where, uh, you know, it's got some cloudiness there. Shot of the uh, rotor. And let's see if I can get the brake pad as well. I think it's there. Okay. Now that I'm down here, I like to capture a side panel view. As I work the camera up, I look for a solid line in the reflection. Any distortion in, in that line is an indication of body waviness, dings, or dents. Outside mirror, nicely secured. Just a couple of blemishes, chips right there. Rubber just uh, appears a little weathered, but not cracked. Let's get some door readings. Eight, six, five, 
seven, nice readings, glass good, belt line trim looks decent. This uh, this um blemishes here. Oops. And what I like to do as well is uh, I like to open and close the door, capture that on video. Uh, we've got some more uh, chips right there, and you can see the handle there. <coughs> Need some uh, attention. So that's um there's not a swage line that I can use as a reference, so I'm going to use this uh, belt line trim. We don't want to see a significant drop when I open the door, and when I close it, it should sound nice and solid. Okay, good. Smooth, yep, solid as it gets. When I check the uh, fit from the door to the quarter panel, it is flush, so that's a nice fit. Oh, let me get the uh, roof readings here. Get that strap out of the way. Eight, sunroof, seven, seven, five, good, seven. I take a lot more readings than I need to, maybe one or two is probably enough, but uh, it's an electronic device, and so I can take a million of them. And just, doesn't matter. It uh, doesn't cost any extra, so I just take a lot. I uh, hear just the uh, felt um, uh, the seal here just slightly in, and uh, okay, good fit. Quarter panel. Ten five. Eleven five. Nine five. Seven five. Good. Eleven. Nice. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the uh, left rear wheel well area. Outside tire, don't see any issues. Rims uh, look decent. Let's get a shot of the uh, rotor and see if I can get the brake pad in there. Okay, that's about as good as I can get. Okay. I always like, I like to look at the rubber here. They're prone to cracks. I usually see them like right here, which I'm not seeing. Looks good. Even here on the grill, I sometimes I'll see cracks between the, the veins there, and no, I'm not, not picking up on that. View of the uh, roof from the back side, looking at the back window, looking at the defroster lines, don't see any uh, breaks in that line. Again, I'll be checking the operation of the windshield wiper or the rear window wiper. And here, just looking at the speaker shelf here, you can see the material where it is lifted right there. cover the back here as well looking at the uh, lenses there's some stress cracks there rubber cracked reflector looks good good not too bad even the uh, bumper pads are in, are in good shape I've already verified that the lights do work um, I think I, oh, I may have got that a picture or, or video but uh, turn signals uh, reverse lights brake lights work even the the license plate lights just uh, those turn signals will need some attention because they do flicker bellows look good 11 11 5 10 5 8 5 right rear wheel well area Do a side panel view again here on the right side, same as before. Just look for that solid line in the reflection, any distortion in that line, indication of things dense. Body panel waviness, belt line trim, good glass, great shape. Don't see any uh, obvious scratches, chips, or uh, signs of delamination. We're gonna go, uh, open that door, good, and close. Nice, solid. Panels flush with the quarter panel, good. Okay, outside mirror, nicely secured. You can see where the, some of the black paint there is uh, chipped. Oh, sorry. Let's see if I got the door readings. Nine, eight, five. So we've gotten uh, nice strong readings. 12, 12, 5, 7, 5, fender, 9, 5, 8, 5, 10, 7, 5. Looking at the windshield here from the passenger side. Again, let's uh, look at the dash. Okay. Get a little bit of the interior, but I'll take still photos of that. Well, let's get the um, right front 
wheel well area. I can't see the, uh, the screen right now, so when I review the video, if I see something, I'll be sure to comment. And I think I got the uh, rotor and uh, brake pad. So scratch right there. I'm gonna push back and move on. So the engine's been off for about 45 minutes as I took pictures of the exterior and checked everything else. I'd like to officially capture the startup now on my end, uh, even though we did the cold start one earlier. So here we go. So ignition key on, ignition on there. We see all the lights illuminate. We see needles uh, flickering, 76833, the odometer reading. Uh, let's make sure it's in neutral. The booster is connected right now. So uh, let's fire it up. I'll, I'll stay quiet again. Okay. Nice, uh, healthy startup. Get a fuel uh, reading there, and I'll need to check the oil now that the engine's running. Let's get to rev it up a little bit. That's about 3,000 RPM. I'm not gonna rev it up too fast right now. Engine's still cold. Um, we're not getting that full duck press reading yet. But let's uh, move on here because I, I do want to disconnect the uh, the booster for right now. So, booster disconnected. I've already uh, checked here uh, the underside. The uh, shocks uh, do support the weight of the panel, so it's staying up by itself. I usually bring a stick because on these older cars, they, they always seem to um, be weak already. I've already taken, you, you're seeing a kind of a, a, a mess right now, but I removed everything. I took still photos. Uh, you got the uh, shot of the uh, spare tire. Here's the uh, brake fluid. Removed whatever carpeting I can. Typically, I'd like to, to take out all the carpeting, right, uh, so I can see everything. But uh, with the with this uh, CD changer, it's not allowing me to. But I was able to get the number here. I've already opened up all this. Looks like the uh, that's not responding, okay. but it, it is there and intact. The jack is there. I think I've already commented on that. Um, the light's not illuminating there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just leave that open now. Let's uh, take a look at the back side here. Okay, uh, again, uh, shocks maintain the weight of the panel. You can see where the, uh, the uh, AC line has been cut, because no, no pump there. I'll, I'll check the operation of the windshield wiper. I've been like looking at all the seams here. Looks good. Kind of uh, went in there with the LED light just to check the inside. Pretty limited as far as what we can see. Didn't see any signs of impact damage. Saw a little wetness there around the distributor cap area. I got still photos of that. Should come out a little better. Belt uh, looks good. I've got the engine number captured that already right there. I'll see if I can get it on video as well, just as a backup. Okay, got that all there. So again, just uh, looking for any signs of wetness, oil leaks, anything. See here where the uh, firewall insulations deteriorated, which I see that that's common. And this is let's get a live reading here of uh, my first oil reading. Stand by. All right, so no oil is low. Okay. Back in there and. I'm gonna let it idle for a while. Good. All right, hold on. I've already been road testing for probably a couple of miles already. Yeah, it seems to perform very well. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can capture some of this uh, safely while still driving and running the video. So it looks like I got a clear pathway. I had one, but I think we uh, might have enough lanes here to kind of just test it out real quick here. So this is going to be first gear. I already have to, I already have to slow down. Um, I'm going to see if there's a better street uh, that I can go down. So second gear. Clutch and 
engagement is uh, great. Uh, the clutch is not too hard. It's not too soft. It's responsive. I didn't the, the times that I was able to you know drive pretty aggressive. Uh, it did respond well. So I'm gonna try this. I know this is the street here. Or I can try a little bit here. So we're still in second gear. I haven't got out of third or second yet. But uh, I know there's a straightaway coming in. Here we go. Second. And um, well, let's go third here. Third gear, fourth gear. And, and I tried those uh, when I was on the open road, so it engaged well. It's just going start going so fast. I prefer to keep both hands on the steering wheel. Um, let me slow down here. Reverse engaged well. Steering uh, feels uh, feels tight, right? I don't feel that excess uh, uh, play. Even the, the bearing is, is good. It's common for those to, to, to go bad. And what I'll do is I'll try one last time here on a on a um, street where I go a little faster. Get in front of this car here. And let me Unfortunately, I just, you know, if I go into second, third gear now, you know, I'll have to do an excess of, uh, uh, you know, 100 miles an hour, it seems like, but the second gear and I can, you know, turbo's engaged. Um, braking is uh, solid. Uh, when I step on the brakes, I don't feel a shimmy. Uh, as soon as it strains out here a little bit, I'll, uh, I'll step on the brakes here, hands free. So, hands off the steering wheel. So, hands free, it does veer to the right a little bit. And then, no cars behind me, and then braking. That's a dead stop right there. So, braking is dead on. Just, uh, just a slight little uh, veer to the right with the hands off uh, steering or steering wheel. As far as going to the operations, I checked all the windows. Uh, passenger side was a little sluggish. Uh, so, I'm rolling it down there, and it kind of hangs up right there. And I slap my, my finger on the switch so you can see where it's going down now. I got the police behind me here, so hopefully they don't uh, hassle me here. Okay, I'm gonna put the finger down. So I just wanted to pull away from the police officer because uh, I really shouldn't be um, having the phone in my hands while driving. But at any rate, I'm pulling over. And uh, so I was going over the operation. So yeah, demonstrating the window does go down. This sluggish uh, driver's side worked well. Check the uh, um, outside mirrors operated. Uh, function well, locks, yeah, that works. That works good. Um, fan, I was very, I was able to verify the blower fan. It's never, never any heat. I didn't ever feel that, but we can hear that. Uh, we know it's not gonna have any AC radio. Uh, doesn't turn on. Uh, yeah, we know that that works already. Um, parking brake, check that. Uh, just keep the car in place uh, when I'm going to drive or reverse, uh, just to make sure that it does stay in place. You see right here at the vent uh, where it's just kind of uh, distorted a little bit. Uh, horn wiper is good, sunroof good, uh, and then on the driver's side seat, I'm sitting on it now, but there, there's a tear right there at the seam on the driver's side. I've got a good photo of that. So I'm going to uh, return the car back and wrap this up.